G'day! In today's video, I'm having a bit of a look and a bit of a weigh-in on the Gamewood RTX 3060. So this particular one, let's have a look at the model number down here, is the Ghost model. And let's crack it open and see what we see. Well, from what I've already looked at this, I can tell it's very similar to the GeForce RTX 3060 Eagle version. Now if I can get it out of the packaging, that'll be another thing. The actual packaging on it does look pretty cool. The ghost icon that's there, I don't mind at all. Let's see what we get in the box. It's a fairly plain black box, very similar to other brands. Gamewood card, tell it's a whole lot and not much. Inside, one GPU. And if we dig a little bit deeper, we have a whole lot of nothing further there. Move that out of the way. Let's flip this over and let's take a look at the card itself. So, this way. Inside, we have this really cool, well, through the plastic back trim or bracket. Very plasticky. I'd say that's for appearances only, that brushed aluminium look that's going on there. But I really like this honeycomb appearance. Something slightly different. Continues along the back here. And as we can see, we have an 8 pin power here. And that will be the end of the graphics card right there. So, literally, right at the back here is where the card ends. And all of it is cooling that we can see along here. So, we go across all aspects of it. So, we have three display, one HDMI. More honeycomb style of grill. Definitely like it. It's similar here. And if we have a look at it from the top, we do have a, flush, a fake brushed aluminium look going on there too. Just have a look at it. This side here is going left to right. This side over here is going vertically. Hands themselves, I'm not sure if they do or don't light up. I'm assuming they don't, but I may be completely wrong with that one as I haven't plugged it in. So let's do a little bit of a measure here. From the front of the bracket down. We are 244 uh, 244 mil or not sure what the conversion is there. Nine and a half inches, I believe. Right my finger is there. And vertically, you open the top of the card down, rough eyeball over the top of the card. We want to be allocating about five inches there, or 125 millimeters. If we can get the reflection just right here. And let's see how much of a fat boy this card is. So if we go this way and use this doodad. As long as it remains in calibration, I'll be happy. So in the middle part, we're 34, 346 mil, or three, yeah, 3.46 centimeters. Or if we go from the highest peak, we're just a fraction over four centimeters. And if I convert that, 1.62 inches. There we go, if we go back down, there we go, inches, centimeters, there we go, so basically, four centimeters tall is what the clearance you'd be looking at there. Overall, compared to the Gigabyte Gaming OC, which is also on the channel, the overall appearance of this I do like considerably more. Especially that, and even with the, fa the fake brushed aluminium, definitely looks pretty cool. Anyway, that's just the measuring of a Gainwood Ghost GeForce RTX 3060. Catch you guys later.